a lot of double stacking going on. Why is it taking forever? Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another F122 My Team Career Mode. I nearly said Driver Career Mode because that's the only game mode that I've been playing consistently. But no, it is more uh, My Team. ERS Fault, of course, from the last episode gives us 320 resource points, which is quite nice. Uh, let's see what resources we can spend here for the car. We've been on a pretty decent run. We scored some points last time out with a P10 finish, one point secured. Uh, we do have turbo materials in the durability department coming through, which is nice. Um, maybe I should invest a little more in durability considering all these other departments are at capacity with their upgrades. So I think I would increase be inclined to improve some of these durability equipment and also save some points for some ultimate upgrades for later. Williams really falling back here on the performance chart and we are second to last on the grid so it's not a good sight. Um, it's looking good right now. Uh, two points to our name and also two points for the team. So I'm happy to progress um, and see what we can do next in the next race of the season. All right, here we go. It's time for the Canadian Grand Prix weekend. But just before we head on in, I did think we got some upgrades here. Wing mirrors and streamlined suspension arms came through. And there was one other one, I think. Not quite sure where it is, but it is one of them. Uh, but let me just see if I can get another upgrade to trigger real quick and sufficient points for that one. But maybe the front rows, we can get that in before Austria, I believe, which will be in two races time as we get through uh, the UK Grand Prix next time. But yes, let's head on into Circuit Jails. Fair enough. Let's see what we can do in Canada. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Alright, welcome everyone to the qualifying session of the Canadian Grand Prix. Interesting circuit, of course. We've been here a couple of times over the course of my F1 YouTube career. So we know this track pretty well. And it's a decent track to get some pace, try to attack some of the other drivers and other cars, and hopefully finish ahead of them. Also, an interesting occurrence in the uh, practice sessions was that I usually do FP1, right? And then I do all of them, try to get everything purple and all of the resource points available and their discounts that I can get but then all of a sudden I did the uh, quick practice program or just letting the AI deal with it in FP2 and then I lost a claim for doing that I think or skipping out on FP3 I don't know but it's very weird I got all the objectives done and then I decide to skip and then they say I lost a claim very strange occurrence, but it is what it is. We're going to head out, set a lap here, and see if we can successfully make it into Q2. I'm trying to drive here for Steppen, mate. I'm on a push lap. What is he doing? Why does he not give himself the space if he is going to do a push lap? You got to chill. Bruda. Anyway, we're coming up to the line now. We have the Wall of Champions to navigate past. Let's see. Not sure if it's going to be a good lap after that collision with Verstappen. Really cut that corner there, but not getting a penalty for it. Interesting. And that is back of the grid for now. Yep, it's a real struggle. Verstappen was even faster. I think that was his lap. Or, no, this was... Eh? I don't know. What was what? I don't know, but we're sitting back at the grid for now. Wow, that Max Verstappen crash really gave us a huge disadvantage. We're improving by about 9 tenths here with almost no ERS left in the tank. Oh, nice. Let's see, can we at least get 7 tenths out of this one? Yes, we're ahead of Verstappen, but still far behind the other drivers, so... Let's put up some fresh softs and see what we can do. What is going on with the Delta? What's going on with the Delta? I was improving quite significantly. All of a sudden, no big mistakes, and suddenly, I'm in the reds. What? No way. 
I lost power at the end. I think that's the end back of the grid for us. Oh boy, 20 seconds. Ouch. I just don't know. We had a lack of power at the end. The car just didn't want to drive. It had no push. So, I don't know. It might have been an engine issue going on there for us. But back of the grid for us, Albon, Latifi, Stroll, Bottas, and Drugovic all out in, uh, in Q1. So, let's put a new engine in the back of the car. That was weird. I'm going to put a fresh engine in the back prepare ourselves for the rest of the season and yeah we'll stack the penalties and see what we can do from back of the grid we're back once again beside the saint lawrence river here in montreal for the canadian grand prix the event first moved to the variants of this track back in 1978 and it was won by none other than gilles villeneuve the first canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honor the circuit would be renamed. If you want flat out racing, you've come to the right place this weekend as it's full throttle for 59% of this 2.7 mile circuit, peaking at around 210 miles per hour going into the final chicane. But that speed requires discipline and there are more than a few close walls here just waiting to punish drivers with a heavy right foot. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Hamilton, George Russell and Ricardo, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Ocon and Pierre Gasly, Verstappen, Sonoda, Mick Schumacher and Magnussen, Joe, Vettel, Valtteri Bottas and Lance Stroll, Latifi, Albon, Drogovic, they've taken a grid penalty and Firestarter. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. What would you know? Both Sewer League racing cars are at the back of the grid. That is nice to see, I guess. Um, we are gonna opt for a hard medium strat as we always do. That is faster, apparently, because we need to heat the tires up a little. So, let's head on out and see what we can do with a fresh engine in the back of our car. Alright, tires are pretty warm. Let's get this car lined up for a good start, please. Oh, no, it's green. I broke a little too early, or braked a little too early. All right, here we go then. It's back of the grid start for us. Immediate start, lights out, and away we go. That was a long hole from the FIA. Oh, a couple people on the harsh, by the way, I noticed. Big dive. Oh, someone's wing is off. I went into neutral. You saw nothing. Oh boy. A lot of cars are in my vicinity. I was thinking of a dive on the TV, but he closed that door real fast. Let's go. Let's punch with a little ERS here. Drugovic back of the grid on the mediums. Latifi, Albon on the hards as well, alongside myself. So they're on the hard medium strat, just like me. Oh, Latifi going for a move. I went into neutral again. That's the sticky X key for you on my controller. I've used this control for so long that the A and X keys are getting like mushy. All right, let's focus now for the so they'll the double press sometimes. Ooh. Oh, how did I make that into a move on Bottas? My golly. I panicked. I went into full flight or flight mode. Alright. Let's stay close to the TV, try to get this DRS and try to push on all these other cars. Oh my god. Joe. That's turned into an attack on Latifi. I think I squoze him a little too much. I don't know. He shifted a little. Oh my god. What is happening with the AI today? Battles galore. That has brought me well within reach of Joe. Gonna do a late dive. Try to get both of these guys actually. What am I doing with the neutral? My golly. 
It's a very stupid thing I'm doing. But let's push. Oh my god, Joe has some kind of ERS ability, I think. I think they're dumping their ERS here. Interesting. Alright, well, got past Joe. Alright, Stroll. Let's tango. I want your DRS, man. Oh! Latifi's out. Latifi is out. He's retiring. Seems like it's a safety car. Safety car is out. There's nothing I can do right now. I'm just gonna stay on the hards. Continue after the safety car. But what in the world happened to Latifi that warranted a safety car? I'm not sure. You guys are seeing the replay for sure, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. Safety car is coming in. Prepare to resume racing. Off they go. Alright, here we go. Safety car restart. Wow, they're fast. Alright, let's try and stay close to Stroll, please. Oh, a little slip out of that. Turn 1, turn 2, turn 3. Sequence. Come on. Come on, stay with him. Come on. My golly, look at them pull away. I have a loss of power or something this weekend. Alright, I think I'm gonna get Vettel here. I got his slipstream, so... I'ma go late breaking around the outside. Got him. Left him space as well. Alright, we got Magnuson next. Oh no, here comes Vettel. But here comes Sebastian Vettel around the outside. Ah. Oh. We're still okay in P14. How we didn't collide, I don't know. But let's stay close to Magnuson and Stroll here. They're on mediums. So they do have a stronger tire on than I do. But I've missed a resilient tire, so I'm not too worried. Come on, I'm using too much ERS to just to stay close to these guys. I have a definite loss of power issue, 100%. This feels weird. Fresh engine in the back of the car, and I am struggling. This hard to stay in touch with these guys. Something definitely feels wrong. Ah, losing out to Smash and Vettel. My dear me. Oh. Yuki Tsunoda is out. Something happened. Safety car deployed yet again. My golly. Two safety cars in one. Hmm. We're still too far away. Medium tire runners are going to have a benefit here. I think we're still too far away from our pit. Ah, uh, lap 20 ain't too far away though. Ah, uh, this is difficult. Okay, so Jeff... Or Mark says mediums are okay, so may as well do it then. I guess we call it in then. We all pit. I think everyone's gonna pit. Here we go, into the pits we go. Alright, medium tires ready to go on. We're double stacking. We are holding up a lot of cars here. Nice, a lot of double stacking going on. Why is it taking forever? 4.6 seconds, my golly. Someone was slow in the pit stop. Ah. But I did gain a lot of positions with that pit stop okay, ahead of Vettel. Left, rear, left to rear. Fire the dude. Okay. We'll take it easy now on the tires. We don't want to ruin it too early. We got safety car, so there's no real need to push. 
All right, we're back at it then. Safety car restart. Alcon struggled a little. Maybe it's time to push and try to get him here. Oh, the engine doesn't have the power though. It's too late braking. Oh! I've been touched. I see Leclerc just ahead of me. Let's try and push close to these guys. Someone's in the pits. Albon. In the pits. Interesting. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. Oh, I'm in the top ten. You are so right. Oh, Norris and Stroll had a little scuffle there. Oh, Leclerc's on my outside side. Oh. Made the move stick. Let's go. That's some tight racing here. Oh. What are these two guys doing? Two and one. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Wow. I'm getting some good positions here because the AI is scuffling with each other. They're tripping over each other. How early was he breaking there, man? Okay. Do I have ERS? No. I don't have ERS or DRS. I'm gonna get overtaken by the two faster cars here. The Red Bull and the Ferrari. Well, I had to let him through. I, have, I don't have that pace. I really don't. Oh, Leclerc is stopping apparently. And Stroll's getting past. Even with DRS, I don't have the pace of the Aston Martin. My golly, look at him go. How bad is this car, man? I sh for sure have an engine issue, surely. It's a loss of power issue, for sure. Oh, Daniel Ricardo's up. Daniel Ricardo is out. Unlucky mate. We will continue though. It's lap 32 of 35, so we're nearing the end here. Here I'm on. Oh, P9 is near. Oh, Drogovic has a mechanical problem. What is it? Come on. Hopefully he can finish the race today though. Ah, I lost out on DRS on Stroll. Ah. Alright, this is the last lap, or last half of a lap that I'm going to show you guys. Essentially. Oh boy. I've been focused on trying to get this P9 here. Alcon's going to get ahead, that's fine. Come on, can I get that DRS and still beat him? I don't think I can. I don't even have DRS, what? Alcon stole DRS, oh my god. I'm gonna be outside the points. No. No way. And I crash out too. Ah, oh, that's pain. Lost it out in the last lap. Ah. Painful, painful, painful. Okay. Pick up rubber and bring it home. They take the chequered flag then here in Canada in what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. So Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Well, Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again.
gotta say that was a wild weekend with two safety cars of course and look at this Alonso on the podium with Gasly P4 that is a very very strange result indeed two Mercedes drivers of Russell and Hamilton rounding out the top two positions Alonso on the podium Gasly, Perez, Verstappen, Norris, Stroll, Ocon and Leclerc Round out the top 10 points finishers with Leclerc getting the fastest lap as well. Uh, sadly, we lose out on P9 in the final moments of the race as we lost DRS. Uh, Schumacher, Joe, Sainz, Drugovic, Vettel, Albon, and Magnussen round out the finishers with Ricardo, Sonoda, Bottas, and Latifi all not finishing the race today. Standings wise, things are looking interesting now as the season progresses. 20 point gap between Hamilton and Verstappen, who doesn't score any points today, of course, I think. Hamilton, of course, getting P2. Strong showing from them today. I am down here only on two points still. And Drogovic down in P21 with zero points to his name. Constructor standings wise, still ahead of Williams. But hopefully we can score some more points towards the end of the season. We need more upgrades. The car feels slow. The engine feels slow. The power delivery seems to be all out of shape. So hopefully we can sort that out soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for your support take care and i'll see you guys in the next one